Pirate Speeds, and today on deck for you, our next installment is going to be Chicken Diablo, which is basically a chicken, uh, a piece of chicken wrapped around a jalapeno stuff with cheese with bacon wrapped around that, and we're also going to add a maple syrup glaze to the top of that as well. And before I get started on this recipe, if you don't mind going down and liking and subscribing to this video. Now, I know a lot of people are confused by the subscribe. It doesn't cost you absolutely anything. It's not like a magazine subscription or anything like that. It's just subscribing to my channel so you see the updates every time I post one. It has nothing to do with money. You don't even put a credit card in there or nothing. So please go subscribe. It's totally free. I'll come down here and I'll show you what, what the basic ingredients are. I'm not going to get into the amount. I'm going to have that in the description for you guys. Uh, but we're going to have chicken jalapenos. This is a little seasoning made up of salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. And I'll have all that in the ingredients list for you when we get when you get started, you leave the bottom of the description. Okay, we we got it all set up here. We're going to start by seasoning our chicken with with the mixture. And I'll have all the instructions and amounts in the uh, description for you guys. And then we're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. After you have both sides uh, seasoned, what you do is you take a jalapeno pepper and we slice them in half to make like a little boat. And then we stuff the string cheese inside of the jalapeno, just kind of place them in there. And then we will wrap them with chicken. So you take one of them, put it in your chicken. Wrap it up. We're just going to show you how to do one of them now. And then you do the same for the rest of them. Okay, then you grab your bacon and you go ahead and wrap it all the way around it. And go ahead and wrap it. And we normally put one going the other way to close it up. So we're going to do that as well so that the inside doesn't fall out of it. And just kind of make a little pocket for it. And just repeat that process with all your chicken and your jalapenos. Then you, you can add your maple syrup to the remaining amount of spices you have left over and you make it a, a sauce and stir it up real well with, with the spices in it and the maple syrup. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint these over with this maple glaze. We're going to do both sides, but we're going to do the other side after we place it in the air fryer. Now that I got them all glazed with that maple syrup, now it's time to take them to the air fryer. If you guys don't have an air fryer, you can do the exact same thing in a oven, convection oven, whatever you may have. Although I'm not 100% sure it's going to be as well if you don't have a convection oven or air fryer. So let's take it over here to the air fryer. And what you want to do is go ahead and preheat. And we, I've already preheated mine, but you want to preheat it at 400 degrees for about three or four minutes. And then pull it out and go ahead and load up your basket. We can fit them all in here. Oops. And then put them the other way around because we need to. We need to put the glaze on the other side. Okay, then you go ahead and put them in the air fryer and try to give them a little separation if you can. 
and then go ahead and lather on the other side with the maple glaze as well. Okay, when you get them all glazed up, put them in your air fryer. And we are going to put these at 400 for 15 minutes, and then we're going to flip them at a lower temperature. And I'll show you how that's done as well. Once it beeps after 15 minutes at 400, go ahead and pull them out. They look like the top sides are done, but they're not really done yet. So we're going to go ahead and give them a flip over. Alright, now we got them flipped over. Let's go ahead and slide those bad boys back up on this side. Once you have them all slid back up, let's put them back in the air fryer. And we are going to turn it down to about 380 this time for another 15 minutes. Okay, after 15 minutes, you can go ahead and pull it out. It should look like this. Okay, then you just go ahead and pull it one of these up for us. This might be one of the best ones we have. I mean, it's freaking so awesome. Flavorful. Uh, maple syrup up top. Dynamite. So I hope you guys try this and subscribe to my channel and like and share with all your friends. Again, subscription is totally free. No credit card, no nothing. So thanks a lot. Have a good weekend.